my brother is finally here to help me get some stuff done. We are about to go back to one of the stores that I went to yesterday because I have to return something or slash exchange because it didn't work. Um, and then we're gonna get some more stuff. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, Cause yesterday was a struggle trying to do everything by myself. So definitely will accept the help. A little later. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> so long overdue for an update. Um, I really have not been vlogging much today because Parent and I have just been running around. We went to B&M, picked up a lot more stuff in my room, and it was so nice having him here to help me carry a bunch of stuff. After that, we realized that we left something um, on the, at home, I guess we would call it like a conveyor belt at the store, but we left it on the till, which is what they call it here. So we ended up having to Uber back there and go pick it up, and, and we've been carrying it with us ever since. So, after that, we took an Uber to Oxford Street. I did a lot more shopping at the Primark there. Um, the Primark on Oxford Street is a lot better than the one in my neighborhood. Not that it's a bad Primark. We were about to call it a night, but then we decided to check out Winter Wonderland in High Park. It's the last day. It's a bunch of rides, a bunch of lights, and it's so pretty. So we're gonna go there and take some pictures. Even though my back is killing me from carrying this bag, it's fine because it's totally worth the photo op. about it next week when classes start I don't want to be worried about it even tomorrow because tomorrow is orientation so <laughs> I don't want to be worried about unpacking my stuff like I just want to be done today I think I can do it but I have to leave out so I can go get some food because I'm starving and while I'm out I think I might actually stop at Primark again surprising right for like the 12 times I moved here but it's just a few more things I need for my room to be complete Okay, there's a cat on the same side of the sidewalk as me. Can't do it. If you guys didn't know, I'm very afraid of cats. Okay, it went under the gate. But anyways, um, hold on, let me make sure I'm going the right way. And now the cat's staring at me, great. You guys wanna see it? Mm-mm, you just stay over there. You guys, there are so many cats out here in London. Just every type of cat. They all look different, it's weird, okay. <sighs> focus y'all my gps has me walking through all types of nooks and crannies what is good like how does one's gps tell them to do this like am i crossing a bridge am i okay also don't know if you guys know i'm afraid of bridges <laughs> You're almost there. Oh my gosh, oh I see the food place. Yeah, I have to cross the bridge, <laughs> no. Yo, really? Nice. Yo, London is putting me through it. I just got here and it's already trying to make me face every single fear. What? So I'm over here, the food's over there. Okay. Maybe if I just walk really fast and won't even feel like I'm on 
the bridge. I moved to a new country. I can cross the bridge. Today I've decided I'm no longer afraid of bridges. Here we go. I keep my head down. Just got done eating, guys. If you're wondering where my little brother is, he's actually back on Oxford Street doing some more shopping. Decided to stay around Greenwich today, um, as I said earlier, to get some stuff done. I'm now walking to Primark to go get the last few things that I need. And while I'm here, I thought I would give a little bit more information about what I was talking about earlier. So, I told you guys that I have orientation tomorrow, but I actually have two orientations. The first one is the International Student Orientation, and the second one is the University Halls Orientation for people that are living on campus. And I was telling you guys that I wanted to get everything unpacked before orientation, but that's also because my brother and I are leaving London on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm leaving already, guys. But not for long. We're actually going on a quick little trip, a three-day trip, to two countries in Europe. Can you guys guess which ones we're going to? back again funny fact you guys know tj maxx back in the states it's called tk maxx in the uk and you know i had to google it to find out why and it's basically because there was another store here with like a similar name or something like that and they didn't want people to get confused so they called it tk maxx weird right this is what happens sometimes when i get flustered like you guys i have to tell you what just happened so I'm like trying to get my stuff together in my room and put things away and I'm holding in both hands a box of pads and a box of tampons <laughs> and then I get a knock at my door so I'm like what's that and because I'm holding these pads and tampons I just throw them on the floor behind me it's the RA wanting to do the fireside chat with me which is like the little intro to living here and answering any questions for me and giving me more information he had to come in my room to do the fireside chat luckily my room is clean because I've been doing that all day but y'all this is what he had to step over to come into my room he literally had to like come in the room and go like this it was pretty hard to miss so Oh well, I'm a woman, it's natural. But it was just like really funny in my head. I'm like, seriously? I should have threw them further. I don't know if you can see it in my eyes because I feel like I can, but I only got three hours of sleep last night. Lying awake at 4.30 in the morning because your body still hasn't accepted that it's 4.30 in the morning, it's no joke. <laughs> and then when you're lying awake, your mind starts racing and you think about all the things that you need to do. <laughs> And that's exactly what happened to me last night. I was thinking about all the things that I have to do today and I realized I need to go pick up my BRP card at some point today. It's kind of a lot to explain, but right now I just have a 30 day temporary visa. You have 10 days to pick up your BRP card once you get to the UK and then you're cleared and you're allowed to stay here for whatever amount of time you apply for. And come to find out, I was supposed to receive this decision letter with that information on where to pick it up in my packet when I received my visa in the mail, my 30 day visa. But of course, there was no decision letter in my envelope. I didn't know anything about a decision letter. So here I am, you know, up in the middle of the night, just like Googling like crazy, like how am I supposed to get this decision letter? I can't register for classes until I get my BRP. I can't get my BRP without the decision letter. So, what am I supposed to do? There was no sleep last night. <laughs> and I'm up early because like I mentioned before, today is International Student Orientation. I'm hoping that someone in there can give me some information or some type of guidance so I can figure this out. Hopefully today is extremely productive. See you guys in a bit. So people can deposit the money in the... Oh. You can put a two million pound, three million pound, you never know. <laughs> two mil I wish somebody would deposit two million pounds. Somebody, somebody. <laughs> 
you're in on Thursdays, then we do free drinks in Queen Mary building in the morning. Nice. So you can just pop by between classes and get a drink. So do pop by go to. We're not starting this week. I'm gonna be that girl walking around, talking to her, talking to her camera every day. People are gonna be like, oh, that's just Paige. She's just YouTubing. such an awesome time at international student orientation like seriously it was super informative i met a lot of people like i just made new friends from nigeria india france colombia we were exchanging whatsapps and making future plans to hang out it was just really a cool experience oh and, and once again i was stressing out for no reason one of the people that i met orientation she was like you should just go in there and talk to the registration people and see if your brp card is there and if it's not you just go from there so we had a little 15 minute break from orientation so i went in the room and guess what was there my brp card was chilling in the office so i got that i got my student id now i can apply for my discounted student transit card like everything is just falling together and i'm just so happy <laughs> and you guys i love my room i'll give you a little sneak peek i have a clothing rack now <laughs> Got that from B&M. Now I can take a nap because you guys know I didn't sleep last night. Um, when I get up, I'm gonna try to like either start packing or editing this vlog. Hey guys, so I am headed to my second and final, wow, loud, wow. <laughs> okay, I'll try again. Hey guys, so I'm headed to my second and final orientation of the day. And this one is for the university halls. I guess they're just gonna give us like tips and stuff on our building. <laughs> and I'm with my friend I met earlier. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Want to be on the vlog? <laughs> no. Oh, you yeah. This is another new friend. You want to say where you're from? I'm from France. Yay! Hello. Well, we talked today at the um, what was that game called? Like the no, yeah. yeah, yeah. We play like a um, a quick game where we had to like talk to each other for a minute long. So I know all about him now. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> you guys, they got stuck on the elevator. That is like my biggest fear. <laughs> Yo, if that was me, I would already have passed out. Just so you know. <gasps> At least they're not upset. <laughs> I would be stressed. <laughs> so it is currently 5.11 a.m. Up bright and early because my brother and I are heading to the airport soon to head to Last night, I actually ended up going to a bar with some of the other international students that I met at orientation yesterday. And it was really fun and I'm really glad that I went. It's been so awesome meeting so many new people so quickly. So yeah, I guess I'll end London vlog number two right here. And the next time I will be talking to you guys will be from Prague. And as always, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.